And welcome back to Walter's Gameplay Video of Command Chief, Game Early Access. Uh, in the twine, and here we are playing Command Chief again. And I should be able to tell in a second, yes, I got my controller working, fantastic, I know. All I had to do was, if we were to hit Windows key, the almighty Windows key, go to the library, go to this button, which is unassuming, then we go to settings, Then we go to controller settings, and then you turn on everything because that's what you need to actually get controllers to work on Steam. And then you add your controllers. As you can see, I'm using my Super Smash Brothers Power A. And then fine. You can't tell because it doesn't have a, it, it doesn't have rumble. But that's how you add controllers to Steam, and that's how you get them working with we should hit exit big picture minimize big picture well, that's how you get it working that's how you get the controllers working with Steam games that refuse to work with anything else I for the life of me cannot tell you oh no that's a good blur tutorial combat training basic combat I for the life of I, for the life of me, cannot tell you why no game ever mentions this. There is no, there is absolutely no game on Steam that I have ever played in which it mentions that you need to access Big Picture in order to use a Steam controller. I mean, in order to use any controller with it. It just makes absolutely no sense because it's such a obtuse feature. It took me literally years to figure out. I only figured it out earlier in 2020. And we're now just playing it, but anyway. But as you can see, it works just fine. Uh, it works a lot better than joystick, funnily enough. Because of the whole... RB. Trigger shoot, uh, trigger shoots the gun. Uh, left stick tilts and uh, powers up and powers down the rotors right stick roll uh, right uh, and left stick also rolls right stick yaw uh, right stick pivots and uh, tilts and it works a lot better than the joystick as you're not over and it doesn't cancel out so I'll, I'll be able to play I'll be able to stream the campaign now which is good and probably play some multiplayer as well But overall, the helicopter physics, or the helicopter simulation, is way harder than any helicopter simulation I've ever experienced. Including X-Plane's helicopter simulation with modded helicopters, oh no, bonk, with modded helicopters and an actual Black Ops simulator which I, which I was able to uh, use because I was a Boy Scout at the time. Also, an odd thing is the collective is reversed, so this tilt is reversed, is inverted. So in order to tilt to the left, instead of just hitting left like a sen like a sensible person, like an actual helicopter, you have to you know do the weird thing of you have to do the weird thing of tilting up the direction, which I have no idea why. Also the, also, the missiles do regen now, at least. If they didn't before. The lock. Also, the locking, also the locking system is not the best in the world. 
It doesn't let you lock on to stuff like that. Only stuff at range. It's mostly that, as you can see, we can do this area just fine for the most part. Still hitting my helicopter on things. Over here we got the big ships. Big as in, big, for, big from a helicopter's point of view. A frigate and a, uh, and a cruiser. much it. Sorry for the short video, but I just wanted to show you that my controller is working and that I can now use my controller for playing this game, which is by far what this act what this game is actually meant for. If you have a joystick, it you can't play the game. It's really difficult though because the sensitivity options are so weird uh, or so low. And if you have keyboard and mouse, I would not recommend this game at all to you. It's possible. They have the controls, it's just, it, that's not how you fly helicopters with keyboard and mouse. There are games that can do planes well in spacecraft, such as Star Conflict and War, and, and World of War planes, and, you know, and, uh, well, that's a good way to drop out too quickly. Um, and War Thunder on certain occasions. That'd be for us today. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. Means nothing. Also, be lots of people checking out stuff on the screen. And I guess, see you in a second.